So now that Season 2 Reloaded has dropped, here is the new fastest way to level up your weapons quickly in Modern Warfare 3 and Warzone. We're going to keep this video as short and as simple as possible, but if you do go on to find it useful, make sure to drop a like so that other people can find this video too. And similarly, feel free to check out my other Season 2 guides like how to level up the battle pass fast, Warzone tips, camo guides, weapon unlock guides, that kind of thing. I'm going to have timestamps in the description if you want to jump to a specific part of the video. Without further ado, let's get straight into the tips. So we're going to be covering three main modes as usual. We're going to be covering Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer, zombies, and then Warzone, and we'll talk about which mode is best overall. Before we carry on with the video, if you're looking to permanently unlock the new Modern Warfare 3 mastery camos, or play in bot lobbies to max out your guns and unlock camos quickly, or get your hands on an instant delivery pre-made account, then be sure to check out MitchCactus.com. These guys are the biggest and most reliable sellers, with tons of offerings for Modern Warfare 3, with completely safe and legitimate services on all platforms. So far, they've almost 10,000 reviews on Trustpilot, so if any of that sounds good to you guys, then make sure to use code RAGER for 5% off for a limited time only. Check out the link in the description. So starting out straight away with multiplayer, you do want to have a class that's going to boost your amount of weapon XP and this is the class you want to put on. So for your class put on the demolition vest, the scavenger gloves, the stalker boots and the gear. Most important is the demolition vest so you can resupply lethal and tactical equipment and then for the equipment you want to put on decoy grenades for the tactical equipment as that counts towards weapon XP, semtex or something like that for lethal and for the field upgrade put on DDoS or trophy system and then put on whatever score streaks you want. Now in terms of what modes are best currently in the game we've got new maps for season 2 reloaded, we've got das house 24 7 which is a map moss pit back all the way from Call of Duty Vanguard, it's actually quite a good map, quite like it, and it looks different in this game. Not too bad, I'd say, so definitely worth hopping into that one. It's, it plays similar to Shipman and Shoot House, but it's different, which is nice. Alternatively, there is a small map mosh pit, which I really like the look of. It's got all the best close quarters maps in Modern Warfare 3. You've got Das House, Stash House, Rust, Shipman, and Meat, so it's a great combination of small map mosh pits. I think Sledgehammer Games have really got it this year, that we want small maps, not big, boring maps that you can't play on. It's a great mosh pit, and you're going to get high kills in whatever map you play so it doesn't really matter small map mosh pits probably better for a nice variety but das house is good too outside of that there'll be other modes normally involving some of those variations of small maps anyway go on to a map mosh pit like that then in multiplayer obviously aim for kills and push for that to get weapon xp but also make sure you're throwing your decoy grenades keep throwing them in every time you spawn in as when they go off it gives you weapon xp as like decoy assist so it's worth doing that while you're getting kills and using your equipment you're going to charge up your field upgrade and that's either going to be a ddos or trophy system trophy system's better if you put it down in a high flow area where people are chucking equipment as you'll get obviously more xp from it otherwise ddos is fine either way it doesn't really matter just use those that's good and basically you want to keep cycling between getting kills using your decoys and using your field upgrades you also want to go for the objective as much as you can so if it's kill confirmed obviously pick up the tags if it's domination or hard point capture the zones and defend them from the enemies that's going to get you a massive bulk of the xp both capturing and defending and obviously if you're getting kills combined with that it's going to get you even more xp so fantastic to go for the objective as well also make sure you're using your weapons to destroy enemy equipment field upgrades and kill streaks, and use your equipment field upgrades and kill streaks as well. Don't forget lethals like Semtex's count too, as do kill streaks. So that's pretty much it. Finally, just make sure you're going for more exciting kills as well, which earn you medals like headshots, long shots, bloodthirsties. They'll get you more XP too. So that's the fastest way to level up your weapons in multiplayer. Fairly straightforward. What about if you're playing zombies? Well, in zombies, things have been a bit stagnant for a while. We've got new missions, which is good. I haven't delved into that yet, and maybe some other fantastic weapon XP methods. But as far as I know, there isn't. And so the fastest way is pretty much what we had before. So basically, there's four main things. I'll talk about them very quickly. Obviously, make sure you got on a class with a field upgrade, good piece of lethal equipment, decoy grenades, and ideally a weapon XP token, or if you're playing on a double weapon XP weekend. Put on the weapon you want to level up, and then basically go into zombies. The more equipment you have, the better, you know, if you've got like rarity upgrades, uh, crystals, that kind of thing. But basically, go into zombies, and there's four things you want to do. First of all, we've got the Outlast contract. So similar to before, there's a glitch going on where basically if you start the contract, activate the PND, aim for about 90% capture rate. Don't complete it, otherwise the contract will finish, that's not what you want. Basically, if you then open up the inventory and hold down Y or triangle, you'll cancel the contract at about 90%. And what will happen is it'll cause loads of zombies to spawn in. But now that you've cancelled it, they'll keep coming even though the contract has actually finished. You've kind of cancelled it. So it should stop the zombie spawn, but there's not. They'll keep coming and coming. So you're going to infinitely get zombie spawning. It's not the absolute fastest way, but it is a repetitive, easy way to get kills towards camos, weapon XP, that kind of thing. So it's really, really good and really, really useful. The second thing you want to do is grind contracts, particularly bounty contracts, hunting HVTs, especially if you've got a good weapon, deliver cargo contracts, that kind of thing. Thing. Third thing you can do is use X fills. Like I said before, they kind of buffed the amount of zombies you get. It's not as good as it was at its peak, but it's still not too bad. There's more bosses as well, which is good. So there's a fair amount of zombies at these X fills, so make sure you use those. And the fourth thing you can do is make use of this Act 1 Tier 7 extraction mission, which has got a separate XP cap from the other three things. So with those first three, there's a cap when you get to, I think it's about seven levels or so. There'll be a cap with weapon XP. With this, it's a separate cap. So you could technically do both in one game. For this mission, basically put that mission on, even if you've already done it go 
to Special X Phil, it'll bring you to an area of the map, pick up the deadbolt turrets, do the mission, and when you get to the helipad at the top, don't get in the helicopter to X Phil, put the deadbolt turret circuit boards into the turret, you'll have like 15 minutes or more of automatic turret use. Just keep moving around the helipad, the zombies are going to keep jumping up, they'll get instantly shot down, and that will count towards your weapon, even though you're not shooting them. So, tons of XP really fast, and it's automated, so it's really, really useful. Those are the four things for zombies. Now, let's finally talk about Warzone, and then we'll talk about which mode is best overall. So, in Warzone, there's going to be two main modes to focus on either plunder or vondel lockdown at the moment vondel lockdown is not in the game so we'll focus on plunder but we'll quickly talk about lockdown at the end as well so for plunder basically you want to do three things contracts looting and using the buy station and i'll explain how they work so first of all for contracts you can do other ones like scavenger intel big game bounty and so on but the one i like to focus on is most wanted contracts these are great because you have to survive for four minutes but if you or your teammates open any loot containers whether that's loot boxes duffel bags fridges first aid kits anything that you can store stuff in you can kind of open up it will reduce the timer by 10 seconds so you can really quickly run down the timer from four minutes to less which is really good and obviously you want to go between these missions quickly with vehicles the second thing is looting so obviously opening these loot containers it not only runs down the timer for the contract but it also gives you 100 xp per loot container open so if you do it 10 times it's a thousand xp really simple and it also gets you money and other cool stuff as well so basically loot as much money as you can and open as many containers that kind of thing and the third main thing is the buy station so basically once you've done lots of contracts once you've earned loads of money go to the buy station and obviously collect cash from any other methods you can go to the buy station buy loads of arm plates and it's going to give you lots of weapon xp and some levels as well that is essentially what you want to do for plunder very quickly we'll talk about vondel lockdown because it will come back in a few weeks time i believe so what you want to do is put on the resupply perk put on a decoy grenade you can resupply them from the munitions boxes and from your perk throw decoy grenades into popular areas with enemies and every time it goes off you'll get like 200 weapon xp every time you open a loot box in vondel lockdown as well you get another 100 weapon xp like we said and there is tons of boxes to open so it's very easy the third thing you want to do is obviously kill enemies each one will get you several hundred weapon xp the other main thing you want to do is capture the holding zones you can rejoin every sort of 20 to 30 seconds for a repeat bonus of 500 weapon xp so it's it adds up really fast so do those four things and it's insanely fast in vondel lockdown i'd say that's probably slightly quicker than plunder but the moment plunders around so you want to do the plunder method let's quickly talk about which mode is best overall i would say to be honest zombies is bottom tier don't think about it unless you need to do anything in zombies anyway multiplayer is pretty good although it's probably varies more from match to match if you're a better player you're going to come across more sort of sweaty games it's going to be a bit more difficult so multiplayer you have the chance to do better but it is more difficult i would say it's kind of easier in warzone to be honest with you especially if you've got mod for three because then you get a bonus from playing warzone 2 so to be honest with you i would jump into warzone if not multiplayer if not zombies so that is the fastest and easiest way to level up your weapons in mod for three and warzone season two reloaded hope you guys found this video short informative and useful if you did be sure to drop a like on the video and check out my other season two reloaded guides like how to level up weapons fast how to level up the battle pass that kind of thing new weapon unlocks challenges that kind of thing if you find these kind of videos useful make sure to subscribe to stay up to date with all my latest modify 3 and warzone videos thank you for watching and i'll see you all on the next one